Hi, and welcome to Carolina Women. We are here today with Erin Lenz at Custom Audio Video. We have silver friends and gold friends, and Jeff Kiefer is here. Thank fun you. with the Fox fundraiser is coming up. That's I can't right. believe it. And you have brought a new friend. This is Sarah Burns. And it's funny because Aaron's sons play music. Your daughter plays music. And you and I usually are chatterboxes, but we had to get a word in edgewise with these two talking music. You're right. But I think what we learned immediately is connection is the name of the game. And talk to us a little bit about what you all are doing for this event, but again about Vivid 2 and I want to hear about Sarah. Well, let me try to do that quickly. Uh, the event is designed to, of course, raise money for the uh, Michael J. Fox Foundation, but in addition, uh, we want to create more awareness about the gallery and, and the foundation. The foundation is well known, of course, but, but uh, some of the details and the things we do underneath the surface will uh, hope to bring to light. Um, the connection is the way we do that, connection and collaborate. And if you've got people that are, uh, yep. we're both artists, but yep. we're different, uh, it really, one on one doesn't equal mm -hmm. two, it equals three, four, five, six, seven. And the higher the energy level you get, the better you get. It's been really fun as we were chatting before. Literally, it's it's funny how the older we get, the village gets smaller and smaller, <laughs> and we all really have connections one way or the other. Sarah, tell us a little bit about you and your role in this fundraiser. Uh, well, I have been playing music on Hilton Head for quite some time now. And uh, I met Jeff down at Harbor Town when I was playing mm -hmm. there one night, and we've just been we became such great friends. I enjoyed looking at the different photos that he would take during the evening. They're and pretty amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. He would show me, and I would just be like, "Wow!" You know, it just captures the beauty of Harbor Town so so perfectly. I was telling him I have the book on my coffee table, and it's like the hot item in my house. Mm -hmm. Yes, book's oh, pretty amazing. Nice. You, oh, you've got to see it. You can get it. If you, if you haven't been to the gallery, it's pretty I amazing. Tell us about the time, the date, and what, how we can go. Do we need to make reservations? Sure. It's uh, Wednesday, mm -hmm. October 12th, okay. and it's from 7.30 to about 9.30 or 10. Perfect. You can get tickets online. Just okay. go to the site Fun with the Fox. And Sarah's and, uh, playing with Ter 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 Taylor Kent as well and Friends. Yes, so yes. we have a bunch of local musicians. Gypsy Blues. Yes, yeah. Taylor and I, uh, we've played together for years. We've been friends for, for a long time. And we started collaborating and we would perform as a duo called the Gypsy Blues. I love that. It's incredible. And so this time for this show, we're going to be playing with Zach Stevens on electric guitar, Charlie Simpson on keys and also Nate Douglas on the drums. And we're all just good friends, so it's just gonna be a, a fun, fun Not group. that I'm a shiny <laughs> object girl, but can you tell us about <laughs> shiny object? Vivid Gallery, it's kind of got an interesting history, and I think if people haven't seen it, they would love to. Share with us a little bit about its inception and what you're doing now. Yeah, it started out uh, from, uh, from uh, the fact that I wanted to have a way to collect donations uh, well, folks got tired of me asking for money, so I thought we would maybe have some pictures that I could sell. And that seems to work. People get value, the foundation gets money, I get to have fun. Right. And win, it, win, and, win. And it just kept, that's exactly right, and it just kept growing. And eventually, I had, there wasn't room in the lighthouse, so I just started looking for space. And But they kept that same principle all along. And uh, and the work mm -hmm. seems to resonate with, with the people. And. Uh, and so we, we're committed to doing this and, and continuing on, uh, hopefully well into the future. In the words of Michael Weaver, it's really interesting how many of us can reinvent ourselves in ways that we hadn't anticipated as we get older. This is a reinvention for you. It is. I, I spent a long time being a financial guy at a big company. Mm -hmm. wow. But uh, so this is totally different from what I did. It's much more fun. I, I like the old job, but I love this one. Did you know and, you were creative or had absolutely, that Absolutely. I didn't know I had a creative bone in my body. I stumbled upon it when, actually it was Nadia at the Lighthouse. Nadia Wagner noticed yes, it. Yes, I love her. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, that's how I got my start. And, and uh, so. When you look at, and I know we only have about 30 seconds, when you look for an image or something that just captures your imagination, is it something intuitive that you just see? Does it sing to you? Is it the colors? What is it that draws your eye in? It, uh, it's usually the lighting and the colors. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I don't go out and really plan a shoot. I walk around with the camera. When I see something I like, I snap the picture. 
Very uh, interesting. And, and I tend to look at what the conditions are and what the sky is doing is a big cue for me. I think we've talked before about having you on, and Sarah, it's so great to meet you too. Please nice come on anytime, too. even if there's Thank not a fundraiser, you. because Vivid is really an amazing place. If you haven't had the chance to visit it, it really is amazing, as is the whole Sea Pine Center. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very Stay much. Stay with us. More to come here on Carolina Women.